to the Willamette Valley, a three-game series here in Corvallis between the 12th-ranked UCLA Bruins and the Oregon State Beavers. UCLA 20-8 and eight overall, 6-2 and two in conference play, while the Beavers 15-19 and 19 overall, 3-6 and six in Pac-12 play. And to Oaks Christian High School pops this one out to right field. And hauling it in is Eli Gottlieb, but didn't really have to move, just a couple of steps over to her right and has got power in that frame. Three bombs. Sends this one over to first base, taken in by Lisey Campbell, and she steps on the bag for out number two. To the box, trying to start a two-out rally for the Bruins offense. Sends this one high into the air and hauling that one in. Near the warning track is Gottlieb for her second put out of the, e of the evening. The ball a lot in the circle at the beginning of this season. Caitlin Terry swinging a miss and throw down to one as that ball popped out of the catcher's miss. Grace Mesmer, one of the veteran bats for Laura Berg, the head coach of Oregon State. First pitch swinging, high pop fly and on the move to take that one in, Jade led Alchin in the forecast. So fans here out and staying dry and a swing and a miss. Two strikeouts for Taylor Tinsley to get things going. Three up and three. Laura Berg said that she just attacks. She's really fun to watch. This one driven into left field and it's gone. A line drive home run for Jordan Woolery. And the UCLA Bruins on the board first with a solo shot here in Corvallis. That one got off her bat in a hurry. Just flick of the wrist. She has got some power. Squared to bunt to get measured up. And then has got that upper body hitting 386 in the five spot in the Bruins lineup. Stings this one right up the middle. And Maddie Simon will take that one off the grass. California St. Anthony High School. This one driven right between the first and second baseman and three straight hits by the UCLA offense. And no outs for Seneca Kuro, Kuro, and she pops the bunt down, handled cleanly. She'll advance the runners on the sack bunt, so one away. So being careful right now with Stevens. This one lifted high into the air over the head of Maddie Seinman. And play at the plate, no, this the throw was airmailed, and so moving from second to third, this ball hammered out to center field, missed a home run by a few feet off the base of the wall. And Simon got rid of it quickly, but then at Arizona and then transferred to UCLA last season. Puts this one in play, runner going home, play at the plate, and that is out. Great hose there from Lisey Campbell. Abby, the cleanup, the senior just underneath that one and pops it up to Jade Alchin, the left fielder for out number one. A sophomore. Sends this one high into the air. Does it have enough? It does. A solo shot. First pitch swinging for Madison Clark. And the Beavers on the board. The sophomore with her third home run of the season and the Beavers in business here in the second. This is first pitch. Uh, Looked like a rise ball that went up to about waist high and she got all of that one. Turns on it quickly. Well, their 13th hit and third home run, the solo shot. Beautiful pitch, the off speed in there and Campbell has to take the walk back to the dugout.
Diamond the 5'6 senior. And it takes a look at strike three after giving up the home run. Tinsley comes right back with hitting over 400 this season after hitting 448 last year. This one high into the air out to left field. And Paige Door, the true freshman, out in the first. Steps into the box for the Bruins. And she tags this one pretty good, high into the air and at the warning track. This one high into the air, it carries and it is gone. A solo shot from Charlize Palacios, the second home run of the game for UCLA. And it is four to one Bruins off the bat of Palacios. First baseman number 15, Jordan Murray. And that is her ninth home run of the year. Just a easy look and swing and the ball just carries, stings this one right to the right fielder Gottlieb off of her mitt. It looked like she was in great position to haul that one in, but instead, A towering fly out to right field. And this time Gottlieb settles under it for out number three. I want to wish Brady a happy third birthday. This one popped high in the air for Savannah Watley. Goes down in the dirt swinging. And Palacios reaches out to tag her on the strikeout in the dirt. So the fourth strikeout, even though there's been some disappointments, including last weekend, didn't pitch her best at UW and want to get her right back being confident and pitching the way that they have seen. And it certainly looks in rhythm today. And the comebacker to Hindigas, and she makes easy work of that one. Hurt her left shoulder last season. Stings this one right at the shortstop, Savannah Watley. Couple of feet to the left, and that one would have been a base hit. But and today hitting eighth in the lineup. And watches ball four, the four pitch walk for Stevens. The first walk, 2021 batting champ in the Pac-12. And the swinging bunt handled nicely by Hindigas. And she points at Campbell for... This one off the handle. Lifted out to Jadlyn Alchin in left. Out number one. Leave in the 0-2 hole. So 0-2. Tinsley goes rise ball and she gets her strikeout number six on the night for. So now 2-2 two -two with two away. Door out to left field and Jadlyn Alchin right near foul territory able to get there and sense as a fifth year senior just go on and on and that one nicks her so she will be on base for the first time today on the hit by pitch. And if you're gonna get hit by a pitch, that's the way to do it. Just barely grazed her, smile on her face. And so Jadlyn Alchin, the transfer from Washington, from Huntington Beach, sends that one in play. And off of the glove of Lisey Campbell, Kiki Escobar there to grab it, but Hindigas lineup. And that one, just misses outside, so the base is juiced with no outs. Notes to the cleanup hitter. Comebacker, home to one. Yes, double play. Good scoop out of the dirt from Lisey Campbell. Exactly what Hindigas needed to keep the Beavers in this ball game. The And this one is going to drive in at least one. Just popped out onto the grass. Two runs in. 
get a two RBI single. Wasn't the most powerful hit of her career, but certainly effective. Just over the top of the infield. Malaulu. Swing and a miss. The first strikeout for Hindegas, and she gets out of a jam for Tinsley by her lineup through the 5-6 hole. And Maddie Clark with her second hit of the game. The Beavers have two hits, and they're both off the bat. Blasted a game-winning two-run bomb down at Arizona State. The rise ball underneath it, and Campbell goes down swinging. 15 career homers. And caught looking. Another strikeout. And another strikeout. This one in the dirt. So the throw to first and double digit Ks. The 10th of the game for Tinsley. The Bruins just once. This time the comebacker, Hindegas, quick reaction, takes it off the dirt and completes the play to first. And the walk drawn by Stevens. USC star Troy Palamalu, comebacker, double play. No, they can only get one. They get the lead runner, though, at second. A star pitcher at Fresno State, All-American. Of course, the alma mater of Laura Berg as well. And Brady draws the walk. Is still looking for her out pitch as she's gotten to two strikes many times in this game, but just one strikeout to show for it. There's the strikeout Hindegas was looking for, number two of the ball game. Tinsley has been dialed in. And she has it, matching her career high. Tinsley, 11 strikeouts, zero walks. Pretty. Did not play at all last year, was hurt. So it is just great when you see her in the lineup. And that one gets away from Tinsley, the first free pass since all the way back in her freshman season and a member of the Canadian national team. So good experience. And a beautiful pitch. Strikeout number 12, a new career high. For nearly perfect in this game against Oregon State. That one misses, so the first walk issued of Door sends this one out to left field, and Jade Alchin takes in out number three. Looking into the sunshine, but the Beavers trail by five, trapping that one in center field need to get a full swing doesn't need to take a huge hack just good power rips this one into left field and runners at first and second for ucla this one high in the air to the warning track taken in by page door and that is out number one date Nice play at second, hauled in by Kiki Escobar. Orlock, California, Pittman High School. She has been injured, sends this one high into the air, a near collision, and it is secured. So out number three, lead off the seventh. So the Beavers need a five-run rally, and it starts with another hit by Clark. What a day. Madison Clark, three for three. Good play, double play, turned, yes. Good defense by the Bruins. Left field. This one popped up high into the air. 
And that will do it. UCLA on the road gets the 6-1 to one victory over Oregon State. What a performance by the starting pitcher, Taylor Tinsley. The 5'7 sophomore from Lawrenceville, Georgia, with a career high, 12 strikeouts, just one walk, allowed just one earned run and three hits, all too many. But this was all UCLA, and a tip of the cap going to Taylor Tinsley. The starting pitcher earns her ninth win of the season. She's now nine and seven, and her ERA dipping below two and a half. That